Vegan marshmallows, unequivocally, undeniable, uncontested, unbelievably, probably one of the most delicious treats on earth. If you don't know what a marshmallow is, that is unreal, unwise, and utterly just unresponsible. We're talking teeny finger pillows, not just soft like Tempur-Pedic, but more like edible memory foam that also has bounce, but will dissolve in your mouth packed with flavor like an atomic sugar bomb from Stark Industries. Yeah. You can taste it. Let's make these unappreciated, undisputed, and currently undiscovered by you, homemade vegan marshmallows. Now, typically I would tell you to just prep your pan and move on, but let me explain. Because if you mess up this early, not a spatula, a knife, a jackhammer, or your mom are gonna be able to save you. In a medium-sized bowl, you're dumping one cup powdered sugar and a half cup cornstarch. Because you're lazy, use this unrealistically small sieve and whisk it together. Lightly coat a nine by nine or an eight by eight if you want thicker finger pillows with canola or another neutral flavored oil. Here's the important part. Might seem excessive, but it's not. Cover the baking pan with this white stuff. Cover it good like it's a Krispy Kreme powdered donut. Like literally, coat everything and set it aside. And before you move on, make sure you give it a little taste. No, 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 I'm joking. Just, just clean it up. Just clean it all up. You're a grown man. Control yourself. Get the stand mixer, and if it's as heavy as mine, make sure you turn on your Fitbit or Apple Watch to track this as a workout. Add in your bean juice. That sounds yummy. Oh, and check out my golden spoon in cream of tartare. Use a whisk attachment. Now, Jeff Gordon, how about you start your engines on low and gradually increase it to high as we crush this Daytona 500 that's only going to last about three to four minutes. Now you could do this with a hand mixer and some normal attachments. Just make sure you have some money in your 401k as it may be time to retire by the time you're done. This process is done when we have stiff peaks. Stiff like, uh, um, well, I have a comparison, but it's best told at midnight since Drake told me when the hotline bling, it could only mean one thing. Put that aside to sit and get a deep heavy bottom skillet over medium heat. Into the skillet, we're adding agar agar powder and no, I didn't just clear my throat. That's actually the name of the ingredient and water. Also check out my golden whisk. Now whisk the ingredients together until it begins to boil. Let boil for a few minutes to thicken up before moving to the next step. Since this is a video, we could just move to the next step. See, here we go. Next step, whisking your corn syrup. You could use another syrup of choice, but then I would say good luck with your stupid expensive finger pillows as I admire how frivolous you are. Just joking, I get mean when I get jealous. Now cane sugar and keep whisking until it's all happily married. At this point, it's a waiting game. You're gonna let the mixture come to a boil while using a food thermometer to gauge the temperature 240 degrees Fahrenheit or 150 degrees Celsius. Warning, be patient, don't walk away. The temperature can sneak up on you like this groundhog I named Lily that lives under my deck. I think she likes the name, but she keeps running away every time I try to ask her what's up. Once you're at the right temperature, it is time to scramble. A tablespoon of vanilla extract and a fourth teaspoon of salt. Whisk it together, move quickly, but be careful as the syrup is really hot. Here comes the fun part. Turn your mixer on low and slowly empty the syrup into the bowl. Gradually increase the speed of your mixer to high as you get closer to depleting all of your syrup. Now that all your syrup is blended in, let the mixer run on high for about five to eight minutes. So I know I didn't mention we were gonna make this, but at this point, you have vegan marshmallow fluff. If you're still looking to make vegan marshmallows, AKA teeny finger pillows, empty this fluff into your powdered donut pan, AKA baking pan. Be sure to move quickly as this stuff starts to set. Even this out with a spatula or damp your hands with water and you should be able to level the brick pretty easily. Let this sit for about six to 12 hours and if all went well, you should be able to enjoy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Believe in good. Peace. You do not want the wrong person walking through the door when you're making this stuff. So be, this is, this is your warning. There's a lot of white powder in this recipe. Um, yeah, just, uh, uh, babe, this is,
This is not what it looks like. Officer, this is powdered sugar. Officer, I'm making vegan marshmallows and you are not going to stop me. Officer, I know what this looks like, but it's not what it looks like, okay? I was making vegan marshmallows. Now, tell me you heard that one before. Well, tell me you heard that excuse before, because I know you didn't. Moana, make way, make way. Moana, it's time you knew. The village of vegan marshmallows is all you need.